I hope you guys are having a good evening. We're going to go ahead and start with some video notes on formulating and solving systems of three linear equations using matrices, using technology. So if you'll remember from Algebra 1, a system is two or more equations. System is two or more equations. For example, y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. And when we would graph these two lines, we get two graphs. And the solution to the system was where they intersect intersected and that was the solution so you should have learned how to set up a system and how to solve a system using substitution elimination and graphing I'm not sure if you use matrices on your calculator or not. You'll have to let me know in class if you used a matrix on the calculator. Okay, so let's get right to our work today. By the way, if you have forgotten how to do any of these, I highly recommend that you Google or go to YouTube and search and review solving systems using substitution, solving systems using elimination, solving systems using graphing. Um, yeah, so let's get to today's work. Number six. Corey, Josh, and Dan went shopping for Halloween treats. Corey bought three chocolate pumpkins, four masks, and eight candy witches. He spent $36.65. Okay, so let's stop right there. The first thing we want to do is define our variables. So we are comparing three things, chocolate pumpkins. Let's use P for chocolate pumpkins. And that would be, we're looking for the price of each item. So P is going to represent the price. Of a chocolate pumpkin. Okay. For masks. So let's use M. M will represent the price of a mask. And candy witches, so we'll go ahead and use W for candy witches. So price of a candy witch. Okay, so once we define our variables, and we got that right here, chocolate pumpkins, masks, candy witches, that's the three things that we're looking for, the price of each item. So let's set up our first equation. We got three of these. So 3P plus, we also got four masks, and we got eight candy witches. And the total cost is going to be $36.65. Okay, writing our next sentence, we have good old Josh here. He bought five pumpkins, 
chocolate pumpkins. Boy, I'm getting hungry. Three masks and 10 candy witches. He spent $37.50. And finally, Dan, four chocolate pumpkins, five masks, and six candy witches. He spent $43.45. So we're going to start off with solving using technology. And the technology we're going to use is using the matrix on our inspires. Okay? So, first thing we, we need to do is learn how to write the matrix for this. So, it's very simple. We make a large bracket and we use only the coefficients on the variables and the total. So three, then leave a space, four, leave a space, eight, 36.65. Then we close our matrix. Okay, next row. So we're doing rows right now. So that's row one, row two, putting just, just the numbers in row three. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into our calculator, and then we are going to um, get the answers using technology. Okay, so here we are on our Inspire screen, and let's see if I can make this a little bit wider. Let me pause the video here real quick and see if I can make it wider. Okay, great. Now we can see the calculator here. So we want to make sure that when we do this, we are in a new document. Remember, always say no to save and we want to be in the calculator. So in this, we want to click on, and you may want to write these instructions down. You're going to click on Menu, Matrix, 7 Matrix, and then we're going to Create. Actually, before, actually let's do a reduced row echelon form. Let's do 5. So we're going to go to Menu, Matrix, and then we're going to do number five, reduced row echelon form. So we should see this, R-R-E-F in parentheses. The cursor needs to be inside the parentheses. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and set up our matrix. So go back into menu and then matrix and then create. and we're going to create a matrix so number one so we had three rows so we're going to change this number to three and we had remember we had pumpkins masks witches and total so we have four columns then from our paper we're going to plug the numbers in make sure you're writing down detailed instructions so that way in class you can follow them to do this row two and row three Okay, there we go. And then what you should do is just double check your numbers, look back and forth, make sure you put the numbers in correctly, make sure the decimals are in the right places, and then press enter. Okay, 
So this is how you read this. This first column, let's look back at the paper real quick here. The first column represents chocolate pumpkins. Okay, so the price of one chocolate pumpkin, you look for the one in the first column that's going to represent the price of one chocolate pumpkin is going to be two dollars and let's round this to 57 cents. The cost of a chocolate pumpkin. Okay, the second column, recall, that was our masks. So we look for one mask. Here we have zero masks. Here we have zero masks. We want to go where there's one mask, our unit price. One mask is going to cost us $5.76. And then finally, we had our candy witches. So our candy witches, one candy witch is going to cost us 74 cents. All right, so let's take a look at the paper again. There's our answers. So for some of these problems, they're already set up with your, your variables, and some of them you have to come up with them on your own. This is formulating, creating the equations, then you create your matrix, and I do want to see your matrix, and then you will put that in your calculator and get the price for each. Okay, the second type of problem here is when you're given the data in the table. So here, we have, and I'm just going to set it up for you. We have Janet, Larry, and Sam. They bought decorations. Notice that they bought garland. And we're looking for the unit price of each item. So garland, wreaths, and poinsettias. So setting up our variables. So G would be the price of a garland. W, and I'm picking these letters myself. You could use X, Y, and Z, but I like to use these letters. We have a price of a reef, one reef. Poinsettias, price, poinsettia. Okay. Now, to, to get your numbers off here, you're going to start off with Janet. Janet is our first shopper. Okay, remember up here in the first row, this was our first person. This was Corey. And then we had Dan, I believe. Nope, it was actually Corey, then Josh, and then Dan. So when you write this, this first equation is going to be for Janet. So we had two Garland plus four Reef plus two P. And our total. $49.50. So there's our first equation. Okay, Larry did three garland, two wreaths, and four poinsettias. Paid $57.75. Sam got three garland, three wreaths, and one poinsettia paid thirty-eight dollars and fifty cents. So for tomorrow, I want you to write this as a matrix, and we're going to start off the class using a calculator. So make sure you pick up an Inspire, and we're going to plug this in, and we're going to find out how much each one costs. Hope you guys are having a great night, and I'll see y'all in the morning or afternoon. See you tomorrow.